the underwater training that goes on at NASA is for the spacewalks. And the reason that the astronauts who, who are doing spacewalks uh, will train underwater is because uh, for anyone who's done any kind of scuba diving, you know that you can go underwater to a certain depth and then adjust your weight to a point where you're what they call neutrally buoyant. You're essentially able to float at that level. And so in the spacesuits, which are very full of air, they actually have to attach a lot of weight to the suits. Um, the, the safety divers and utility uh, divers that are helping the astronauts will then add additional weights to get them balanced out to where at a certain depth in the pool, they are essentially uh, floating. Now, there's some differences in the pool. There's additional uh, resistance that you don't have in space. In space, you're in a vacuum, so there's, there's really no friction. But in the pool, of course, the water provides some friction. So uh, if you push yourself along uh, the structure and then release in the pool, you're going to gradually slow down due to that friction, but not, not in space. You're going to actually have to slow yourself down with your hands. And uh, the other big difference is, of course, gravity still exists. So even though you're floating, the suit is floating neutrally in the water, you're actually under gravity inside the suit. And where this really becomes an issue for the, the astronauts training in the pool is when they're upside down. And uh, they, uh, they then are hanging in the suit, uh, often putting a lot of pressure on their shoulders, and, and that can be pretty difficult. For our mission on STS-131, our two spacewalkers were Rick, Rick Mastracchio and Clay Anderson, and uh, they did three spacewalks each. And during that time, what they did was they replaced an ammonia tank on the space station that had been depleted about 50% and uh, replaced it with one that we carried up that was 100% full and then put the old one back into the payload bay of the shuttle and we brought it back and it was serviced and flown up again on a later flight as a spare. And the reason that we wanted that ammonia up there is because it's what's used to keep the space station cool. That's how the, the heat is dumped into the ammonia and then the ammonia flows through radiators and sends the heat out into space.